Latin America contains more species of vascular plants, butterflies, amphibians, and snakes than tropical Africa and Southeast Asia combined. This new tropical biodiversity has been in the making for at least 100 million years. In the Cretaceous period, South America and Africa separated, the first freshwater fish appeared, and an asteroid hit Mexico's coast. In the Paleocene, diversity recovered after the impact. New forests were dominated by flowering plants. In the Eocene, very high temperatures began to decrease, and tropical plants migrated south. In the Oligocene, rapid global cooling occurred, and African monkeys and rodents arrived in South America. In the Miocene, the Andes increased in size, and the Panamanian land bridge began to form. Succulents and grasslands evolved. In the Pliocene and Pleistocene, the climate fluctuated and the Ice Age began. Biodiversity rearranged itself, a new species evolved. If this timeline was condensed into 24 hours, humans would have only arrived 15 seconds before midnight. They used fire to clear the forest for agriculture and disperse food plants, contributing to the current distributions, diversity and abundance of species. Human numbers gradually increased until the natural resources could no longer support them. Warfare and disease began to spread. Smallpox, measles and the common cold were brought by European colonizers, causing the great dying, killing 56 million humans, representing over 90% of the indigenous people. Warfare also continued, and along with it, so did slavery and monoculture farming. The greatest change happened at 0.1 seconds before midnight. The human population exploded from 60 million in the early 1900s to 652 million today. Human activity fragmented habitats and biodiversity was lost. Between 2001 and 2020, the Neotropics lost 10 million hectares of tree cover, a 10% decrease, primarily for commodity production. Alarming rates of deforestation still continue to this very day, and one in three of all known neotropical species are currently threatened with extinction. No longer will we ever have pristine habitats, and the few that remain are not able to support the current biodiversity that they hold. The UN has declared 2021 to 2030 as the decade of ecosystem restoration. The fragmented neotropical old-growth habitats must be protected and connected through habitat restoration. These connecting corridors will strengthen the long-term survival of the wildlife that inhabits these fragments. The neotropics are running out of time, and if nothing is done, soon the damage will become irreversible. It may feel hopeless that an unquantified number of species have probably already been lost, but as long as biodiversity remains and we choose to act, there is hope.